little snippet of what I would play if somebody called out old Joel Clark in the key of A at a performance or a jam session. And usually when we refer to a piece as being in a letter name like in A or in D, we mean that it's in the key of A major or in the key of D major, but old Joe Clark is not in A major. It's in a different mode. Hey there, it's Ruth Roland, the fiddle geek with a practical theory lesson. So we're not just thinking about playing. We're not just playing. We're thinking about playing in order to make our playing better. If this interests you, subscribe and hit the notification bell so we can geek out together again soon. This video is in my scale shape series and if you've seen the previous videos previously on Fiddle Geek, you know that a scale, say the A scale, that starts on an open string, say open A, has this finger spacing with two and three touching and everybody else spaced for the entire eight note octave from open A all the way up to the high A. So basically on the A and E strings. But old Joe Clark has one and two touching on the E string and not just once for the entire song. So we have to ask ourselves whether it's really an A at all. We can answer that question by playing it through and seeing that the first part ends on A. The second part is full of A's, and the second part also ends on A. It's definitely centered around A. It's probably in a mode. In Western music, Western broadly speaking, not like country and Western music, Western meaning the Americas and Europe, right? In Western music, there are seven modes, just like there are seven letters in the musical alphabet, seven modes. And the first mode is Ionian, otherwise known as major. All of these modes have lovely Greek names. And the reason you may not have heard of Ionian mode is that everybody just calls it major. The names are Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, and Locrian. Aeolian is also known as the natural minor, so you might be familiar with that sound. And the others in between, they sound more or less quirky. Um, <laughs> it's useful to remember them in this order because say we're looking at the C scale, right? If we write out the letter names of the C scale, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. If you start a scale on C, that's C major, C Ionian. If you play the same notes that are in the C scale, but starting on D, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, that will be the Dorian mode and so on down the line. Likewise, the patterns of whole steps and half steps, right, that we talked about in my first scale shape video. It's the same pattern, the same order, just starting in a different place for each mode, each successive mode. It's useful to remember them in this order. And uh, the way I learned was I don't particularly like my Aunt Lucy, which isn't a very nice thing to say, except it's not so bad since I don't have an Aunt Lucy. If you do have an Aunt Lucy, you could use Letitia or some other name. Um, but an alternative is I don't philosophically lecture my Aunt Lucy, and I think any aunt fictional or real would appreciate not being philosophically lectured at. <laughs> okay. And you know, it's not really important to know the names of the modes unless the crowd that you run with refers to them all the time. But it's important to know the modes and be able to play them. It's the same way it's important to play any scale, right? So we can play in tune. We can have material to solo with. Um, we need to know the notes of the scale for the tune that we're playing. And then, then we can solo more confidently on it and play the notes land land in the right places with the the right finger spacings so this video we're not going to play through all the modes and and listen to how they sound and analyze them and talk about them instead i'm going to give you a method for figuring out if you know the tune and you know the center the key center figuring out what mode it is or if you know the key center and you know the mode, figuring out what scale shapes to use. That's what this video is about. Let's get to it. 
So say we're playing Old Joe Clark, and we know the notes of Old Joe Clark, and we know the key center is A. Which mode is it? All of the notes in Old Joe Clark in that little snippet. So let's put them in alphabetical order. Okay. That's a familiar scale shape. Um, let's start there. We're going to put that scale shape on the D string, on the next string lower. Right, we end on D. So we're going to find these these notes that aren't in Old Joe Clark. And mind if we'll put this one here in as well, even though this note is in Old Joe Clark. Okay, and then play the notes in Old Joe Clark starting on D. So A, B, C, D, right? We're gonna play the notes going up from there. Can you tell whether they're the same or not? Let's listen to them at the same time. And they are the same. Ding, ding, ding. So we know that it's the notes of the D major scale centered around the note A. So we're gonna say D is Ionian, right? And we're gonna go up the modes until we get to A. Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian. Uh, ding 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 there we are a is mixolydian the notes of the d major scale centering around a is the mixolydian mode but if we only know the mode and the key center but we don't know the scale shapes right we're not we're not certain which notes to play but we know it's mixolydian a mixolydian we can count up from mixolydian mixolydian Aeolian, Locrian, Ionian, until we get to Ionian again, and see which note we land on. And this note is A, B, C, D, right? That's, that's a D. Alternatively, we could count down from A. Mixolydian, Lydian, Phrygian, Dorian, Ionian. And we land on D for Ionian mode, and so we know that it's the D scale shapes, major scale shapes, centering around A. So we need to know what the scale shapes, what the D scale shapes are. And we know since D is an open string, um, we've watched the first two scale shape videos by now. The first video tells us that the scale shape for any open string scale is two and three touching for an entire octave, the first octave. So now we've used up the octave, we need to know how to go higher than this D. The second scale shape video tells us that we just use the third finger scale shape going up from this D because it's this is the third finger, so we use the third finger scale shape and that's one and two touching, right? We're not done yet because we need to go below open D. But the second scale shape video will tell you how to do that as well. You should go watch it. But for now, trust me. Those are the scale shapes we use. So if you know the notes and you know the key centered, right, you can figure out the mode by putting all the notes of the tune in alphabetical order. Find the note name of the major key and then count up from there until you get to the key center of your tune. To do it the other way around, if you only know the mode and the key center, count upwards from your mode and just know that the modes repeat in the same way that the notes of the musical alphabet repeat. Count up from the mode until you get to Ionian and then use the scale shapes for, for that Ionian note name across all four strings. So a little bit of trivia about this Mixolydian scale. Right, it's pretty cool. Um, it's very popular in Americana and bluegrass music, which Old Joe Clark is certainly, uh, but also in rock and roll and blues. The Mixolydian scale is also known as the dominant seventh scale. To find out more about dominant sevenths, watch this video next. See you there.